It is 6.37. She's bothering me. I'm trying to read my book. Six thirty-seven on Sunday, May 7th. This is not a typical day. Um, it is a lovely, sunny, 80, it will be an 80 degree day. I'm super excited about pulling out tank tops. Woo -woo. Yeah. <laughs> and Evangeline and I have been up for about an hour. And I've been reading. And I'm taking a shower and gotten ready for the day and she has been reading. Woohoo! Yeah, we're not gonna get her attention. I'm gonna go ahead and go make our tea. Bye. Child's is yummy. Whew, hot. I am going to go chill out in the. Oh, I guess I gotta make her food first. I'm gonna make the kids' food and then I'm gonna go chill out. So, you can watch me cook. thing we ever did was to get this little chair for the kitchen because that means yep hi people because <laughs> that means that we get to spend time together when I'm doing chores and in the I'm kitchen. not in her way and she's not in my way which is probably the most important piece right there and I'm still reading my book and I'm not too page two hundred and eight Whew, I made it. I dropped the kid off at choir and I am going to skip out on church today. I am going to head over that way, you'll see as I'm going along, and I will make it to uh, a little cafe and I'm going to write. I am like 300 words into my 10,000 that I'm supposed to have this week. Yeah, I sucked on writing and I want to spend a little bit of time writing and I have my journal. Woohoo! And I need to decorate this thing. Um and I'm going to spend a little bit of time in my journal and then I'm going to get started writing. So wish me luck. couple of flowers. Just a cute little flower thingy. Whew. Okay, you would think that I just went out and did a workout. No. I just went and turned over the dirt in the chicken run because it was starting to get a little bit stinky and I'll show you what I was doing. Okay. Well, there's a, there are our girls, or at least some of them. And what I did is I turned over all the dirt. So we were having a little bit of a trouble with the smell of the run and I went online and I looked up what was going on and I just took a shovel and turned over the dirt. So that was my day. Who are we missing? We are missing one of the Easter eggers and one of the... Uh, buff Orpingtons. Okay, ignore the mess because I just came out yesterday and also cleaned. Oh, look who I found! Four eggs and an Easter egger and a buff. Say hi! Can you say hi? What? They're like, leave me alone. I'm trying to lay eggs. It is. Goodbye. What time is it? It is 1.30, 
And Evangeline has begged me for something. What did you beg me for? The letter. Tama, baby. What did you beg me for, baby girl? The library. The library. So we are heading over to the library so she can go ahead and enjoy her time doing stuff. Stop looking at me that way. Okay, it is 3.23 on the notes, and we just spent, how long did we spend at the library? About an hour and a half, I would say. At least an hour and a half at the library. I finished a book, and she finished a book, and then she got a couple of books, and I got a couple of books, and now we're going to finish getting her ready for, for my school. School trip to Keystone! All the fourth grade is going. Who wants to come? Who wants to come? I want to come. Can I come? You're not. How many band aids? I need bring one, one big one. Okay, now I need no. a tiny one of the tiny ones. I don't know. I no, no. <laughs> I'm a band aid thief. <laughs> We're watching the Hunger Games movie. Evangeline, how Effie do you? Effie is so annoying. <laughs> She's more annoying in the movie than she is in the book. It's true. <laughs> I'm eating tapioca pudding. And enjoying yum yum. Effie is so annoying! And Evangeline is really mad at Effie. But if it helps, I am mad at Effie too. Well, this is really good lighting. What are we making a video for, baby girl? I'm going to Keystone for five days today. I am so excited! With the rest of the fourth grade at my school. So it is the next morning, and Evangeline is feeling a little reticent about going to Keystone, and I am so excited! about her going to Keystone. Wow, this is really good lighting. Can we like, can we just take a moment to like... Nope. Just be like, nope. wow, look at how nice this nope. lighting makes my face without makeup and her face look. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> I'm so excited about you going to Keystone and it's a science trip and they get to go and they get to study. And I have to stay up till 10 and we normally are in bed by like 8 7 and then 7 30 but you don't yeah. go to bed until 8 but like so my bedtime is like 9 or 9 30 so 10 o'clock but the kids don't have to be up and ready to go until 7 so that's that's why the late bedtime because we're I up. Got up I was so scared I got up at 2 in the morning we, we, um, yeah, she probably was awake at 2 and then back asleep, and then when my alarm went off at 4.30, she was back awake again. I was awake at 4.32. Um, anyway, that is a day in the life of a crazy family. Anyways, here we'll just cut her out. That was our day in the life. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed. If this sort of peek into the life of a creative, crafty family is helpful for you, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite part was. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Bye. <laughs> Bye. My mom and I have the exact same facial expressions. She's got a scary face. <laughs>